How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I bring you one of the best and most requested iPhone tutorials ever. Today I'm going to show you how to really lock individual apps on your iPhone. So every time you want to open an app, it'll ask for the passcode or face ID or touch ID. Depends on your preference and on your iPhone. Let me show you right now. So I have set for Instagram. So if I tap on Instagram, in one second, it'll lock and then only unlock with my face ID and then I can use it normally. If I had an older iPhone, it would be touch ID with the fingerprint or of course with the passcode, it's up to you. So one more time and this time with the photos app because I have set, I have set for the photos as well. Open and in one second, it will ask for the passcode so then I can use my face to unlock it and then I can use the Photos app as I would. How incredible is that? It's absolutely amazing and the best thing is you don't need a jailbreak, you don't need to download a third-party app, you don't need to pay for anything. It's all free and all native. Let me show you. Okay, so all we need is this application right here, this Shortcuts app, because we'll use an automation to create this, to individually lock apps on the iPhone. So as you probably know, the Shortcuts app is a free app, is a native app made by Apple, and you probably already have it on your iPhone. If you don't, just go to the App Store, search for Shortcuts and download it. I'll also have a link in the description just to make your life a little bit easier, all right? So now that you have the Shortcuts app on your iPhone, open it up, and then you're gonna go to the Automation tab, and then create a personal automation. It's super easy, guys. It just takes a few steps and then you don't have to deal with it anymore. You just gotta do it once, it's super easy. So after tapping on new automation, all you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and go to app. So then tap on app because we're gonna create an app automation and then choose the app. And right here is where you wanna choose the apps that you wanna individually lock. So you can pick one, two, 10, 20, all your apps, it's up to you, okay? You pick the apps that you want. I'm just gonna pick here Instagram because I know it's an application that I'm sure a lot of you guys are, will be interested in, so done. And of course, I can add more if I wanna tap here again, and I can keep adding like that, or if you want to, you can use the search bar as I use for Instagram, and you can pick any and all the apps that you want to individually lock, all right? So tap on done, and then next. And then here, we're gonna need to add an action, and that's the action that we want. And there's a search bar once again, so tap on that. And then we're gonna tap on Start Timer. So Start Timer, as you can see here. So you tap on that, and then Start, start Timer. And then you can select here the time, and what we want is one second. So if we tap here on Seconds, and then we tap here on One, we're gonna have it for one second and that's what we want. So when the app is opened, in one second, it'll ask for the passcode or your face ID or touch ID, right? That's how it works. So then you tap on next and then your automation is almost ready and all you gotta do is disable this feature which is asking like don't ask before running. So we don't wanna ask before running because otherwise it'll just ruin the whole thing, right? So don't ask. So we wanna, we want it to do it automatically without asking. So then done, and then your automation is ready. So we're good, we're done right here. We can exit the Shortcuts app and then just go here to the Clock app and then go to Timer because we're gonna use the Timer feature. And then when Timer ends, so tap on this option, when Timer ends, and then scroll all the way down and tap, and tap on Stop Play. That's it, and then Set at the top and then the automation is all set. That's it, you don't need anything else, it's literally ready. So then if we tap on Instagram, as you can see, in one second, it'll ask for your passcode or ask for a touch ID or face ID. Uh, please keep in mind that I have my phone in do not disturb, just so we don't get disturbed so you didn't see a notification, but if you don't use it in do not disturb, you will see this notification the shortcuts notification that's the only difference right so every time you open it it'll start the automation and in one second it'll lock 
and then show you here in the lock screen but then it's the same thing right you got it that's it you don't need to do anything else if you actually want to edit those applications add a few more or remove a few more you can edit the shortcut so you can tap on shortcuts tap on the automation and then go ahead here and tap on when and then instagram or the app you have and then you can manually select other apps add new ones remove others you can manage the apps you want to individually lock you don't need to create the automation all over again now the automation is created and you can manage very easily through the application right here if you want to add more or whatever that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video please make sure to hit the like button down below also the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a few days as usual bye bye